All right, and welcome back to the final video in the Gungrave duology Let's Play. It's time to show off the bonus characters. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa, it's not just Grave? This is getting interesting. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Still can't help hey, but clip Juji. his mic. Yeah. This time your info is straight up, right? So, uh, Juji Shut and Rocket Billy each have their own, like, different, so um, so first level cutscene. Because hmm. they're infiltrating the hotel on their own accord before Grave gets there. But otherwise, not too much different happens. I'm not going to be showing off all the different cutscenes and stuff and all the different kills. So that would take effort. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> look. Sources. <laughs> but like most of the rest of the game goes identically from the other characters' perspectives. Yeah, like the the levels aren't any different. The difference is like some of the dialogue stuff and a couple of the cutscenes are gonna have them like taped over uh, grave. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, just like basically a couple of scenes where like beyond the grave is not in the room. I guess. <laughs> right. You never change, do you? Uh, but I guess I don't have any better ideas. I wonder what's inside. But see, you gotta play as all three to unlock the true ending. <laughs> no. Right. But, uh, but that's so when Gungrave 3 comes out. <laughs> <laughs> no one's done it before, that's why they never released it. No, so you get these characters unlocked after you beat this level as Grave? So then you can do the entire game as them. And here's Juji, uh, the first one I'll be showing off. Uh, his main focus is melee, where Grave was a bit more balanced. Uh, <laughs> Juji has these sick katanas. <laughs> and these sick moves. And then just like a random claw of fire on his back. Yeah, you know? It's I mean, just that's just what he does. The seed, I guess? sort of weird. You never really see it like that in the game. I like that, like, his back is burned, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's like his seed magic, uh, showing off. That's what makes him so good at katanas. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, like, constantly on fire and, like, his, his, uh, white jacket just, like, slowly over time turns to black ash. I, I mean, that's why he's running like that. He's just like, oh, put back some fire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, he doesn't they all even... have unique... Oh. Okay. oh, I was just gonna say, he doesn't even mind being blown up. He's just... <laughs> no. But, uh, so, each character has their own unique poses and their own um, special attacks as well. Like, you can see, first of all, in the upper left, his skull has horns. <laughs> because he's oh, edgy. Yeah. Oh, damn. And more like fangs. Uh, yeah, and he also has his own um, uh, demolition shots. They all basically serve the same purpose, but, you know, it's the uh, it's the effort put into the different animations that counts. Mm -hmm. Like that one, which is just like a shitty force push. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he just threw a bullet really hard. <laughs> what the... Love that slow Juji is around. easily the least interesting of the two bonus characters. Yeah, somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> so, uh, I say his focus is on melee not only because his main uh, weapons are katanas with guns on the outside, but his guns are also really imprecise. Hmm. Like, they have a spread built into them naturally. Nice. So even if you're locked into a person, sometimes you'll just miss them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what happens whenever you, um, like, hold your guns at an angle like that. You're never going to get a good shot off. Yeah, I guess so. I Juju just cano canonically a bad shot, that's all. <laughs> well, he is also blind, so I mean, maybe okay. there's that too. Sure. <laughs> Thematically, it's appropriate, but he has um, better melee combos than either character. Hmm. Depending on, like, directions you push and stuff, he has one that ends with him stunning all the enemies near him. So if you somehow didn't catch them, right there, uh, you can stun them so you can get, uh, better footing again. Huh. Hmm. That's Which, it's neat, but the issue is, there are so many things in this game that explode. <laughs> yeah. That just cutting your way through everything isn't viable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one like, thing. Like, you don't want to... 
That's what. Oh, uh, th- I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just one thing I really noticed that, like, about this game in general, that, like, you really don't want to be close to people too much. And, like, it kind of worked for Beyond the Grave because his has a lot of knockback? Yeah. And uh, he doesn't seem to have that. Yeah, it's it's really unfortunate because, like, it's cool, but you can't slice through the cars because the cars will explode and damage you. Hmm. Like, there's cool stuff that could be done, but the fact that everything explodes and is uncaring and cruel makes it that uh, Juji is not as fun a character to play hmm. as you might assume from sick dual Wait, katana, dude. But did he slice off the that guy's arms? Is that there... might be true. Aww. Is there just, like, dismemberment tech in this game? There might be contextual stuff at some point. I don't think generally. I think most of them just die the same way that uh, Gungrave killed them all. <laughs> My favorite character, Gungrave. <laughs> he's got all the best parts of Gun and Grave. Right. Uh, he's got a wood. He's got a wooden casing. Half gun, half grave, all Gungrave. That's right. And there isn't really a way I- for him to like deflect like missiles or anything, is there? I think you can. But I, just the the timing on his melee attacks makes it harder to do than uh, Grave. It's too precise. Grave can just like swing his around like a damn animal. Like uh, you could just stand in one place and do it consi- like forever, and almost a hundred percent of the time you'll deflect the the thing back. But uh, Juji doesn't quite have that. He's always moving and flipping and stuff. <laughs> Man, those Tokyo drifts were rad. I can't believe we just <laughs> lost right over them. <laughs> yeah, Juji's a, Juji's a cool idea in, I think, a game that doesn't quite suit him. Mm. Is he even a cool idea, though? I don't know. Guns and swords that, th- that are the same weapon are kind of cool. Okay. What I'm saying is gun blades are the coolest, and that's why uh, Final Fantasy VIII is a masterpiece. I agree. I'm glad somebody finally said it. Right. And I'm glad it didn't have to be me. Yeah. I'm <laughs> glad somebody else besides me was wrong. I'm glad someone else had to fall on that gun blade. <laughs> I love how much push there is to his uh, special attack, though. Like, that car just disappeared with, yeah. one, uh, with one well-timed shot of it. So there is some cool stuff, but also, like... In a game where gunplay is so important, the fact that his isn't precise really fucking sucks. But thankfully, we're near the end of uh, his play, and we'll get to uh, quite easily the easy mode of this game, regardless of what uh, difficulty you put it on. So if you put it on easy, does it cancel out and become normal mode, or...? No, it just it becomes like... Uh, it basically becomes a mode where you could just not do anything and win. Oh, it becomes baby mode. Right. Why weren't you playing on that? Because <laughs> I'm a man. Oh, okay. I'm really looking forward to Rocket Billy. He's got an intro too, so we'll show that off right before this. Oh, man, yeah. All right! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody's ready to rock. <laughs> yeah. I love this strut. I like that, like, basically he doesn't have feet, and that's the extent of him being a ghost. Yeah. Wait, he doesn't have feet? Oh, yeah! So, just, so here's his main attack. He shoots electricity from his guitar. <laughs> And you can hear it plays a sick, like, tapping solo when he does it. This fucking owns. (laughs) But it will, um, auto-target enemies. Like, even if you're locked onto someone, it will hit other enemies. So it's, like, super easy. (laughs) Oh, his skull's so good. Oh, yeah, also his skull has the the rose in the mouth. Oh, my God, yeah! (laughs) He's a big GNR fan. So I guess this is the real Guns N' Roses. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Also, his backup animation is so oh, good. Man. Yeah, it's just a weird jump. Like, you max out the meter and it just starts playing November Rain. I love how casual it all is, too, like his run and everything. Oh, there's his, uh, melee. Here's his melee. Oh my god, yes. 
<laughs> Holy shit, this owns. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, oh, and there's his, uh, there's his, there's his dodge. Ah, uh, I forgot his dodge was his, with the knee slides. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is a real, like, easy way to just, like, fight through the, uh, the, the game. Like, as you see, I'm, like, beating this faster than it can shoot enemies at me. Mm -hmm. God. It's... <laughs> it's amazing how much like they they put into Rocket Billy here to be like the OP character. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's intentional, but like just his characteristics and stuff ended up leading to this. Honestly, yeah. I I feel like seeing from the game design, I feel like this probably isn't intentional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his feet. Whoops! This accidentally owns. <laughs> Shit! Time to patch it. Oh man, I can't. I couldn't imagine this being in the era of patching. I would lose out on all the cool shit. Oh man, yeah, think about it. <laughs> Fucking rebalances. Think about like all of the <laughs> shitty, weird like PS2. All right. <laughs> oh, here's his, here's his... <laughs> There's this multi-directional uh, demolition shot. God damn it, this whips ass. Ah, oh, future friend was a fool for missing out on this. Oh. oh. Man, it's so aw oh, man, I love everything about <laughs> Rocket Billy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you use the pose button with them, they're like super cool. Oh. Holy shit. Suddenly I actually <laughs> want to play this fucking game. <laughs> he just does the little jig and he's just having so much fun. RB, like, I think the game is fun as grave if you don't like play it on hard. Mm -hmm. But like RB just makes it a completely different game. God, why wasn't he the protagonist? <laughs> why wasn't he the protagonist? Like, why? Man, I don't know. <laughs> like, you don't even really get a sense for how uh, great this character is, like, just in the story of the game. Like, you, you never... You never get all this good stuff. Mm. Like, is oh. slicking back his hair and all that. Yeah, I, I feel like there just isn't... I mean, it is about Grave, but Grave is not really a protagonist. He doesn't talk or anything. And there's not enough attention given to how fucking cool these guys are. Yeah. He's even less present than, like, a silent protagonist from a JRPG. Like, he's just non-existent. Yeah. Even though you're constantly watching him, like, playing the game. It's so weird. Yeah, it's fucked up. He's non-existent, but this guy's the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and he's cool as heck. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like maybe if Gungrave was, like, pushed on, like, Rocket Billy Red Cadillac, it would be, like, I don't know, I could see this game of do doing better with, like, the Dante and fans of the world, you know? Yeah, this game could have been the, the Devil May Cry for this company. You know? But yeah. It just didn't pan out, but this is the sort of character that you'd expect out of a, like, if you were going for the same vein of, like, goofy character action sort of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just with maybe, maybe some balancing. Maybe some more considerations. No, this is perfect. Like, in some ways, it seems like they almost came up with it as, like, an afterthought of, like, oh, these additional characters yeah. with different play styles. Yeah, like, it, they just kind of plugged it in, and it just happened to work even better than, than the the regular game. <laughs> right. Not in Juji's case, but RB's. Yeah. Honestly, this is what I would hope, just based on, like, my impressions of the characters. Because, like... Juji's just there, and he clips his mic, and he's weird. But like, <laughs> Rocket Rocket Billy Red Cadillac is fucking Rocket Billy Red Cadillac. He's so cool. I love him. I'm gonna marry him. You can't have him. <laughs> and that's everything <laughs> in Gungrave. The end. <laughs>